Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Wakos Craft and Peace. I make paper beads and I also make paper bead jewelry. You are very welcome. Thank you for staying with me. And if you're new to my channel, you are very welcome and you are welcome to hit the subscribe bell. I upload new videos every Thursday. <laughs> Sorry that last Thursday I didn't post a video. I lost my voice to cough and uh, yeah, even today, I still have the cough. It was really strong and it was because of the weather. It's supposed to be summer, but in the Netherlands, it's still raining. So today's video is about the paper cutter. So I'm not going to roll papers, paper beads, but I'm going to show you how my paper cutter works because I was requested. Most people are requesting it because they are asking, what do you use for cutting your paper? Can you show us how you use it? So yeah, thank you for the messages and you still are welcome to send me messages about any questions about my beads or how I do them. So today I'll show you and let's begin. So as you can see, it comes with the word paper cut already and it also comes with numbers. It's already marked. It has, to, you can see what kind of paper you're already working with. And you can always check what height of paper you're having and I always use the bottom part to measure so you can see that it has already pencil marking so I always I don't need a ruler so this is glue <laughs> it always there so and it's metal so that's the best part of it it's metal so it lasts longer and yeah I know that you can use other paper cutters but if you are someone who produces paper beads in bulk like you make jewelry you make lots of them i really would recommend this for you because it cuts faster than um, the other paper cutters that i have seen them the scissor method it goes slow but you need to be accurate and the blade you also need to be accurate and there are other cute small ones that you just put the bead uh, the paper in and just keep going up and down up and down that also needs time so this one takes papers really fast because you mark them here and you cut them so then you're able to get lots of paper to make paper beads in bulk and yeah so this is how wide it is it's 41 centimeters and let me see if I can show you the height and there it comes out <laughs> Okay, so the height is around 49. So basically, if I could do that, then it's like 49. <laughs> so, no. so yeah, so then the height is like that. So the best thing is you can get it on a board. So you know, you don't get it on a board, but you, you need to get a board or something that you can put it on so you don't destroy your table or whatever you're using. But if the table is just there, then you can always put it there, but it will destroy your table. So that's one good thing about it. So it also comes with a handle. So this is the handle you use. I don't know if you can see it. So that's how it looks like. And <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sick. So you need to push it, this off. It has like a, like something to put it on so you can always put it back. So you just push it off and then push it out. And then it comes up like that. So then, this is what happens it's up so this is the the blade but it doesn't cut like it doesn't cut your skin it just cuts paper so it's safe and yeah so now we'll go to the part of cutting because then you need to lift you need to lift this handle higher so you can carry this part up like that so when you finish you mark your paper you get your paper really well and you mark what centimeters you want it or millimeters whatever you want it and you just go so I have one centimeters and I also mark this side as well sorry I'm using one hand so I can record well <laughs> so let's just say in there so what you do is you put it right through it and then this edge of it you push it inside because you're cutting this other side so this part you push it outside like that and then that side is inside because 
here we are cutting a triangle paper so let me show you how it chops <laughs> so when you're done with measurements you can measure it very well so we had gone on another process so let's measure the other sides as well so you can see how fast it goes so when you put your edge here inside like I showed before and here here so this is what happens you just go like that you just keep swapping and this is like really fast because to me I wouldn't do that with a cutter so I already have enough paper to make two beads see really fast and that's why I really <laughs> recommend it if you do beads in bulk because it's a bit pricey and when you're done you lift it up and then you take your paper out and then you put this back to the pin and then you put it away where you always put it away so <laughs> thank you for watching this video it's been a tricky video to shoot but i'm really glad that i did and if you liked it and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel you are very welcome to hit the subscribe button so you can also learn how to make paper beads or just continue with your paper beads but get more ideas from me thank you bye